Hi, my name is John from Drive Medical's Technical Service Department, and today I'm going to show you how to measure a motor brake. The motor brake is basically a coil of wire that's wrapped around a metal core. Now this metal core is attached to a disc that encircles the motor armature. When the coil is energized, it becomes a magnet and retracts the core and also retracts the disc and allows the motor to spin. The brake is also set up that it can be manually overridden so you can put the scooter or the power chair into a freewheel mode. When that happens, it opens up a micro switch that's inside the housing. Now what the micro switch does is it breaks the circuit between the controller and the coil of wire. When the controller doesn't see the resistance of the coil of wire, it won't allow the driver to drive the chair or the scooter. This is a safety device that won't let you drive unless you have brakes. It's a very simple test and I'll show you now how we do it. What we'll do first is we'll turn on our test meter and we'll put it on to the 200 ohm scale. What we do next is to test to make sure that we have our scale is working and our test leads are all hooked up, everything is good. We touch the leads together and we're going to come down very close to zero. What we'll do next is we will plug one test lead into the Molex connector and the other one into the Molex connector also. And as you can see, we read 46.5 ohms, which is very, very right in the middle of the tolerance where we're allowed to have uh, as a good break in most scooters is in the neighborhood of 30 to 65 ohms. So 46.5 is excellent. Now the next part that we're going to test is going to be to make sure that the micro switch is working. What we'll do is we'll energize the manual override and put it in freewheel mode. Now we'll test and we should be reading the same here. We should be reading infinity because we should have an open circuit. So we'll take the leads, plug them back in again, and we have an open circuit. We put it back in to make sure that everything is working again. We plug the leads back in and we got 46.5 ohms again and we have a very good motor brake. 